Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for the 2017 Mitsubishi Outlander. We're going to start with the Kurt Class 3. This is part number C13163. It's going to offer the 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. And we're going to follow that up with the draw tight. This is also a Class 3 with the 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. It's part number is 75888. Now the Kurt cosmetically it does have a flush style reinforcement collar here where the draw tight is a little bit more rounded. Not a big difference there. And the draw tight's also going to have a small plate that's welded on for wiring connectors. You can see the three pre-drilled holes so we can connect a four pole holder or maybe a seven pole holder here in the back. But you will want to keep in mind for standard wiring applications your plug will be stored in the rear hatch area of your vehicle. It won't be on the outside of the car, but if you do plan on a special application where you're gonna be running it out, that would definitely come in handy for you. Another very minor difference is gonna be the pinholes that we've got. Our Kurt has a single 5 8 diameter pinhole. It's gonna be great for securing all of your items. Looks like we've got enough room there for just about whatever accessory you might choose to use. Just wanna make sure that that's a class three. Same can be said for the draw tight here. We've got a good amount of room. Should have plenty of room to use whatever accessory, but we want to keep in mind we need to use the pinhole that's closest to the front of the vehicle. It's larger and it's 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. The pinhole located a little further back, that's for use only with the J-Pin stabilization system. Our safety chain connection points on both of our hitches are going to be of a plate style and very, very similar opening sizes. So I don't think you're gonna see one big advantage from one to the other there with whatever style safety change you might be using. Uh, both of them, same ground clearance down to the ground. The hitch pin hole location on the hidden hitch is a little bit further out, so that does take a slight advantage there. Now when it comes to weight capacities, our hitches are gonna be dead equal. They're the same whether we're using weight distribution or not using weight distribution. And that's going to be a total of 600 pounds of tongue weight, so that's the maximum downward force that we can put on our receiver tube openings. And it gives us a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. So that would be the total weight of our trailer and anything that we were to load up on it. Again, the same with or without weight distribution, but you definitely want to check the owner's manual on the Outlander. You want to see what its tow rating is and go off of whichever those numbers are the lowest. Now looks wise, the two hitches are going to be very, very similar to one another. Basically what you're going to see from behind your car is about this point over past the receiver tube opening to the side plate here. It's not a symmetrical look on the back of the vehicle because we do have to accommodate for the exhaust here, so you want to keep that in mind. Alright, now let's kind of sum up what we've talked about. Basically our weight capacities, they're going to be equal from hitch to hitch, so there's not a big difference there. Now the clearances on both of our hitches are going to be almost identical with the exception of that draw tights pinhole being a little further back. When it comes to towing, I think the draw tight having that bracket welded on, it's going to make attachment of that easier. However, the hitch pinhole on the draw tight is a little further back, so that will make it a little bit nicer to use for recreational towing. For your bike racks, your cargo carriers, things of that nature. And that's going to complete our look at the best hitches available for the Mitsubishi Outlander. Click the link below to shop learn more or visit us at eTrailer.com.